Yeah, I definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Way to go. But hey, hold on. Wait, no, wait. no, 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 guys, no, no. I'm serious. Hold on, hold on. Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Does the Idaho Potato Commission rain fiery vengeance upon you and your family, or are they just arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, this highly trained team of serious culinary professionals is putting them to the test. Because this is Myth Munchers! Myth Munchers getting in trouble. Myth Munchers mashing potatoes. Make it double. I hate that. Anyways, Myth Munchers, you ready to munch some myths about mashing potatoes? Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's Wait. Oh God. Can I tell people? <laughs> Listen to my podcast. Trevor talks too much. There's a few episodes out at this point. A number that I don't know the exact count of, but you should go check it out on Apple or Spotify or wherever you get your podcast. Why did you yell at me? Well, because I just didn't want you to flip it over too quick. That's fair. We're all very excited about the podcast. All right, first off, Myth Munch Potatoes. First off, oatmeal that big oatmeal is too afraid to make. Ham and cheese oatmeal, savory oatmeal. Where is it, Quaker? Are you even a real Quaker? Is that not Benjamin Franklin on your thing? Because it kind of looks like what I imagine it looked like. Flaming hot oatmeal feels just as good coming out as it does going in. My personal oh. favorite, goat meal. If you weren't too afraid of change, oatmeal, and the general morning foods industry, which is actually what they call it, not breakfast, but morning foods, they'd make goat meal. And finally, of course, prunekin oatmeal. It's a portmanteau of prune and bacon. I'm not taking any questions about this one at the time. That's the one I need. What is oh, that? Yeah, <laughs> we talk about our bowels too much on this show. Anyways, anyways, we're gonna start with the potato type right here. We're going russet versus Yukon gold. Russet is the all-purpose potato that most people use. Man, the allure of the Yukon Yukon gold sounds too good to pass up. Then we're going chop versus whole. Some recipes say you should boil them whole. Some say you chop them up. Let's see how that affects it. Then we're going to the actual potato mashing instrument. Do you use a potato masher? That's my potato masher body movement. Do you use a potato ricer? That's a thing that I have believed in for a long time. I don't know if it's true. Or do you need a mixer? Do you want to go with some sort of agitation on there? And then finally, we're going cream. Nicole's the cream lady. So we're going to see if milk versus half and half versus cream yields the best potato. Do you feel equipped to mash a bunch of potatoes? Yes. Yeah. How's your wrist mobility right now? Are your shoulders languid and loose? Is your heart filled with starch? I'm a little tight, actually. I actually, God, yeah, I'm so tight. Yeah, I need a I'm so tight. V hit me with a bag of potatoes and I went, ooh, that feels like a massage. <laughs> Anyways, write down your guesses. With you what? Go. You got a pen? All right, now we feel practiced on the song? <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Myth munchers getting in trouble. Myth munchers mashing potatoes. God, we suck. Josh, I think I'm gonna win this thing, man. I think I'm gonna win this thing. I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. Do you know why we both think that? Cause I'm Josh. And I'm Trevor. And we're Wicked, Wicked Smart. <laughs> Nobody seems to love that bit, but we love that bit. We it, love it. So right now, we, we are, this is a battle of the two potatoes. These are the two, I would argue, the most common potatoes. We yeah. haven't heard anything from the Idaho Potato Commission. No. That would, you know. Uh, well, there's like, reds. There's also yeah, reds. No. But those are like, you know, side potatoes. Purple, like a nice ones. roasted potato, you would go with a red. Garnet, generally. yams. Garnet yams, that's a little known potato. Oh, a uh, white rose potato? Yeah, man. There's another, the, the hot potato? <laughs> Anywho, uh, we're gonna make, right now we're, we're making mashed potatoes. Uh, we're gonna cut these, we should work one at a time. Trevor, you cut your russets, you okay. cut your russets. So russets are a starchy potato. Most people break down potatoes into starchy potatoes and waxy potatoes. Uh, that's, just, just figure it out. Just it's not it out. a good knife for cutting potatoes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't why? have the holes. No, wait, wait, we should have a whole knife. Wait, hold on, I got a whole knife. Use a Santoku blade with oh. the, the bevel divots. Frick that knife. It's unsafe. It got a better knife. Look out, okay? So like a waxy potato will be like an Irish red potato. Yukon golds are somewhere in between, but again, these are just two very common ones. I don't have high hopes for russets, man. I, I've been burned by russets before. I don't know if I believe in them. You don't know if you believe in I russets? Really, I really believe I, they exist. I don't believe that they're a great potato for a lot of things. I agree, actually. I've made a lot of mashed potatoes. It was always something at Thanksgiving that we would do a lot of. And I don't know, russets, there is something about like, I don't know, I think they have their uses somewhere, but they are a very starchy potato. They are um, like the all-purpose potato, but for me, my life has been improved by subbing in Yukon Golds with damn near everything I make, yeah. and I'm not gonna apologize for it. Idaho Potato Commission, we're really gunning for a sponsorship because I, yeah. I just really want free potatoes. Here's the thing. I cannot stress that enough. I got the hookups, man. I got I got you the plug on potatoes. You have oh, the potato plug being from yeah. Idaho, Mr. Boise. Oh yeah. Largest Mr. Basque Boise. population of any city in America. Anytime I drive from Idaho to California, I go through this town called Jordan Valley. And actually I think it's technically in Oregon. Anyway. <laughs> 
it's a very big Basque town <laughs> and there's like nothing there. Throw them in. Okay, okay. And there's like, the, there's no phone service there. I swear I drive through and I- Basque people love herbs, hate phones. <laughs> I don't want to talk bad about the Basque. No, but they love a, stone lifting. Look I have Basque stone lifting. I have great memories of that town though. It's just like a fun place to drive through and they stop at the same gas station every time because you go out of Boise and then once you get to Jordan Valley, you're kind of like, all right, it's time for gas. And then you stop at the gas station, you buy a Snickers and a Diet Coke for the road. Trevor, what, how much mashed potatoes do you make? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, mashed potatoes isn't something you cook for yourself, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard not to do like a single serving It's not like potato. I'm doing a, I'm doing a little home meal at night, serving, making dinner for one tonight, so I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. No. It's always a family gathering thing. Yeah, I make mashed potatoes once per year, and I, I don't even particularly enjoy mashed potatoes. I don't think, they're not a top five potato preparation yeah. for me. But that said, I do have my kind of like theories and thoughts about it. Um, like, you never put it in a food processor. We're not making like a French, Pomme purée? Pomme purée? Pomme purée? No, we're not doing pomme purée right now. We're doing no. like American style, kind of chunky-ish mashed yeah. potatoes. We're gonna see what we can do uh, with that. Don't put them in a food processor. They get all gummy, so we're not doing mm. that. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see what these two potatoes do. There's such a significant difference between the potatoes after they've boiled. Like you can tell how much starchier these are. Yeah, it's and literally just, just wicking off the outside of that potatoes, which yeah. we don't know if it's gonna make a better or worse potato. We know. Uh, and this just looks like a little bit yellow. That's Those exciting. Look pretty. Look pretty. I oh, listen, Yukon Golds, I cannot stress enough. If the Idaho Potato Commission also has Yukon Golds, do Dude, I don't know. I don't know. You're from Idaho, dude. Do you not like go to the Idaho Potato know, Commission I parties? Like, what? Dude, they got like crazy, uh, what's that, what's they that movie with Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise? It's all a marketing thing, Josh. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise, they go to the sex parties with the masks. Eyes Wide Shut, they don't have like Eyes Wide Shut parties? What? Idaho Potato <laughs> Anyways, so we, <laughs> we got our one pound of potatoes boiled. Uh, we're just gonna go really simple on this. We're just going butter and milk, butter. two tablespoons of butter. We're going quarter cup of milk right here. And we're gonna just start laboring with a potato masher for like a while. Add some salt and pepper. And now we crush. Okay. Wait, 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 we gotta establish a rhythm. It's gotta be one, one two, two, three, twist. One, two, three, twist. One, two, three, twist. twist. I feel like I'm in a Zumba class. <laughs> this is the worst word of potato mashing. I give it a little bit of a whip. Yeah, I give it a little bit of a whip too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've broken rhythm. Uh, we've gotten some comments that are like, this isn't the most scientific show. <laughs> it's like, Nah, really? Come on, really, man. sure it is. Let's try them. All right, let's try, let's try, let's try. Uh, let's try the rest. It's like, you know, nice, nice creamy mashed potatoes. It's Grab it's a big old. Why'd you get started? What, how much do you take? Like a normal this amount? Is, this is the amount, no, this is a normal amount. This is how people eat mashed potatoes. And you go, okay. They like Boston Market. <laughs> It's like a good mashed potato. Yeah, it's you know, like it's Boston Market makes a good mashed potato. It wasn't a dig, it was <laughs> just a fact. This is like, like what I would expect from mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's like when you're going to LAX, you see that weird Boston Market on the way, and you're like, God, should I go there? And then you do, and you're like, why did I go here? All right, you've gone gold. Wow. They're very different. They are. It's like when you get a side of sweet potato fries or the normal fries, that little change up. Yeah. That's how different these are to me. Um, definitely starchier on that one. I would say almost grainy. You can feel the grain in your mouth. Feel it's the like potato grains. The way the potato grain coats your mouth in mm. this one versus this one, like you still get the fat and the butter coating your mouth, but it's like a lot yeah. smoother and you don't feel it inside of like the texture in your cheek and mm. on the back of your tongue. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like the TGI Fridays came out with like a new steak dish and they're yeah. like now, with Yukon Gold mashed potatoes, and they charge you like an extra dollar fifty, yeah. and that extra dollar fifty to me is absolutely yeah. worth. It. So what you're saying is it's not about Russet versus Yukon Gold, it's about TGI Fridays versus Boston Market. That's what I'm saying. And what do we prefer? TGI Fridays. Actually, Friday. wait, it's just Fridays now. Oh yeah, they rebranded. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's a good move. Anyways, yeah, Yukon Gold. Yukon Gold's way better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they still have endless apps, not Yukon Gold, uh, but Fridays. <laughs> anyway, do we want to let uh, let them know? That seems like we should. Okay, we're gonna do it. You know how the birthdays at the restaurants, they do like chocolate writing on the plates? Yeah, like, like the Boston birthday. Market? Yeah, the Boston yeah, yeah, Market. Yeah. yeah, so grab it, do it. All right. Write you, Yukon or gold or both. Well, make some space for yourself. Um, hold on, cursive. I'm trying to remember cursive from third grade. Start here. Okay, oh my oh God. Oh God, how do you make it gay? <laughs> Wow, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That looks like a That's a Y. That's a Y, so it's definitely a Yukon. You, you, okay. I also love chocolate sauce. Oh, that's all you, baby girl. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so Yukon won. Let's get won. this out of the way first. That's exciting. Yay, I love Yukon potatoes. But now it's time to test whole oh. potatoes versus chop, chop, chop. And let me just say, this is weird. Who, who does whole? 
who who does whole? Whole whole I mean, people, wholesome people. The only whole. people that do whole potatoes are people that microwave their potatoes, and people that microwave their potatoes. I don't even know, man. I don't I, even know what to say. I don't think I've ever seen anybody microwave their potatoes. My mom microwaves her potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and I love my mom, but that's not, not for mashed potatoes. Okay, ready? One, two, two, three. Throw them all in. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So now we're just gonna let these go and see what's up. So we got our whole and chop. Look at those bad boys. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, so these took about 15 minutes. This took about double the time, mm -hmm. 30 minutes, which I don't know if that's gonna factor anything in the time. No. But like, it's fine. So whole potatoes, the reason why people like to do whole potatoes is mm -hmm. because it steams from the inside out, while these guys just hold a lot of water. So I'm sure it's gonna change the texture a little bit too. Why do you like to make mashed potatoes, V? When do you eat mashed uh, potatoes? I eat potatoes in all forms and sizes, and mm -hmm. I do not discriminate yeah. at all. <laughs> I love mashed potatoes. Some people are like, oh, mashed potatoes aren't dank, but Mashed potatoes are pretty dank. Wow, that's like yeah. the best thing I've ever tasted. Yeah, probably. It's whenever, the most addicting thing. Yeah, whenever I go to like uh, Thanksgiving potlucks mm -hmm. and stuff like that, I always bring mashed taters with me. That's like my. That's go your go-to. Yeah, I make a goat cheese mashed potato. Ooh, a goat cheese mashed oh potato. Oh my that god! So good. Is there a reason why I have the whole potatoes? Yeah, because you need to uh, do some arm workouts, <laughs> I know, Nicole. I really I'm sorry, do, but I think I need to like brace. Hold on. You, I'm not you strong need, enough do you need to do this. A, do you need help? Let me know like, if you need help. Let me, do you want to switch? No, it's okay. I just need to like get my arm strength up, honestly. Do you want to know a fun potato fact? Yes. Potatoes are actually the first vegetable to be grown in space. What? Yeah, they did an experiment back in the 90s where uh, they see if they can grow vegetables in general up there, so they did a potato first. Yeah. And then eventually they created like a whole like chamber and like quantum tubes and stuff that they can grow vegetables in. It's kind what of the heck is a quantum tube? I don't know, but this I kind of want one. So my potatoes look a little bit drier than yours. Yeah, probably because like they were cooked whole, so I'm could, probably going to add just a skosh more milk. Yeah, why not? Just a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just gonna slowly drip it in and see what's up. Ooh. Yeah, because this is satisfying to watch you mash potatoes, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks. Like, I have fun, but like, it's more fun watching you. Really? <laughs> that's nice. Maybe I can open like a website where people watch me mash food. No, that's probably not a good idea. That looks more similar, I'd say. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, that, that looks similar. There we go. So now we know that, but okay. here's some spoons for us to Ooh, taste. Ooh, I like spoons. I almost just put my finger in it. No. Be classy, V. Be oh, on camera. Sorry. Yeah, I got braids right now. Okay, cheers. Be classy. Uh huh. Good totter. Uh huh. Mm hmm. That's good. Whole. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Kind of stiff. The texture's not really pleasant. Like, this is the mashed potatoes that, like, someone that doesn't cook but is, like, at the company party brings. Yeah. You know what I mean? These are company party mashed potatoes. No offense. Contem no offense. potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, doing the extra it's method. easier. Yeah, the extra few minutes to chop your potatoes will definitely give you a better Outcome. product. Yeah. yeah. So let's tell the guys, but we okay. have to, you know, use our alter egos that we talked about. I'm oh. Janice Yukon. And I'm Ross Rossi. Chopped potatoes one. Yeah. Yeah, we knew that. We got him here. You need a mustache? What? No. Good luck. Uh, v looks like she's gonna glass me in a bar fight. I just, what was that? What are they doing? <laughs> we already have the chopped potatoes. Annalise already You don't like us. steely, Dan? Ross Rose is gonna gut you <laughs> like a fish. Uh, yeah, chopped potatoes. That makes sense. They absorb more water. You know, that's fun. Uh, now we're gonna test the potato masher, which we've already done. We've been doing the potato masher. You see us do it. We're testing a ricer, which this is, this is me, this is me game changer. This is me game changer right here. What you do is you put potatoes in it and you go and it turns it into little rice-like granules. See, this is a, it. a large garlic press. That's why they call it a large garlic press. <laughs> uh, and then we're using a, a mixer. See if getting some, some agitation in there can make it nice and smooth. Uh, we'll see what happens. Some of this could come down to like, Preference whether you like a nice chunky mashed potato or a smooth one. I like a smooth one. How do you like do this efficiently? I'm I don't gonna... know, man. I'm gonna put all this stuff in here. This is the way that I used Shoot, to do it. Shoot, dude, I got some potato in the milk. Let me just finger it out. <laughs> there we go. This is how I used to do it at home growing up. Whenever like Thanksgiving, we were making mashed potatoes, my mom always used a hand mixer. So it's kind of what I'm like accustomed to. Interesting. Well, I don't we know would do if it's better though. Is we would take the box of Idaho spud potato flakes, we'd put it uh, with milk and butter in a microwave. Sorry, not butter, margarine, and then we would just eat that. Oh, oh nice. Look at this. Look at the potato. Look at the ricer. I need to mash it and a little some bit. Some of it just kind of comes out of there. I need to get it That's mashed cool. before I mash it. What? <laughs> <I'm> pre mash. <laughs> I was going to say, we should have done a little pre mash. These potatoes are way too hot to be handled with my hands. All right, let's crush it through. It's 
Yeah, yeah but here's the thing about the ricer. Then you gotta buy a potato ricer. What yeah. else can you do with it though? Crush large garlic. Crush large garlic. <laughs> You'll find the world's largest garlic grown by Ross Russet in Blau County. Blau. Right. County. Yeah, Ross Russet not only gets in bar fights, but also grows large garlic. Right. Well, one more, one more. Ow, cheese and rice. Dude, are you okay? No. Ah. I mean, that looks uh, definitely different. <laughs> Dude, should I go turbo? Turbo mode! Should okay. I go turbo? Go turbo! Turbo! You are turbo man! Okay, now we're gonna grab some butter, we're adding that and it, it in there. Ah. Yeah, butter. Jeez, ah, I got my hands covered in salt. And now, it's turbo! Look at how the ricer made the potatoes all nice. So all you I gotta gave do, you a whisk! That was for me? Yeah, what do you. Just, I don't know who it would have been for. for. No, just imagine with a spoon. How did dude? you get rice up. potatoes on your shirt? I put my mouth under the ricer because I've always wanted to do that with a slurpy machine. And I never have. I mean, this is blending up smooth. This is gorgeous. How are you doing? That looks awful. You used to do this in your home? What do you mean it looks, looks gluey, awful. dude? That's no, gluey. no, it's not gluey. You just gotta give it a little. Maybe it is gluey. I mean, this is looking nice, nice, smooth, fluffy mashed potatoes. Bro, Check out if Ricer wins, then the people have lost. I, I don't, I, all I'm seeing with my two eyes right here is that the Ricer ones look really dank and the other ones look kind of terrible. Not terrible, yeah. they look like mashed potatoes. Do you try them? Yeah, I guess so, man. I'm gonna, you wanna start mixer? Since that's what my spoon's in. Why are, dude, just, I don't know. Oh, oh that was really good. I was yeah, nice, don't yeah. it. There's little chunks in that, and the mixture didn't achieve the things that we wanted it to it achieve. Is, it is a little bit fluffier, though. It does seem there's, fluffier. There's than a the... little bit more air whipped into it. Let's right. save the rice here. Let's go straight to potato masher. Okay. Yeah. This one's definitely a little bit fluffier. There's still chunks in both. You don't yeah. get rid of the chunks with the hand mixer. But it's just a little bit more air whipped in. I was actually surprised because I thought like anytime you puree potatoes, you get all that agitation that like whips the starch and turns it into glue. This, this is, is way fluffy, more right? fluffy. It's like a lot lighter. Wow. That it's a better right? potato at the yeah. end of the day. All right. I don't know what I'm doing with the spoons and the hand. I don't know what happened. Well, let's try this. Wow. Dude, this just looks like. <laughs> okay. That. We have a decision to make here. In terms of what our values are as people. Okay, here's the thing. I think we've created a grittiness to it. I know what you mean. And honestly, I've had this happen to me with potato ricer before. It's almost, it feels like we're going back to russet territory where it feels grittier and grainier. There's not as many chunks, but I don't know what it is. It's like smoother, it's more uniform. Yeah. But, but there is like a-, a It's not better. I don't, that's the thing. This literally tastes like dehydrated <laughs> Bro, am I right? Are we right? Dude, you want to take a huge, right? We're taking a huge stand. That we're for the Idaho Potato Commission. We're taking a stand right now. The potato racer, get out of here. We want to keep some integrity on our potatoes, but we also want to whip it with a machine. Home style, Idaho style mashed potatoes, just like my mom. Shout out, mom. Racer loses. Get out of here. Makes your wins. Who the hell sent this to my house? How do you have my address? I have your kids. Ew. None of us have kids. What? Whose kids do you have? Mixer one, we, we made a really bold choice that the rice here created a smoother mashed potato. Mm -hmm. That might be something people want, but you know what? This is an incredibly subjective show, even though it is based all on hot, nasty, badass science. Yes. It is still food. You put it <laughs> yes. in your mouth, you're making a judgment call. Yeah. Sue us, but leave nice comments. Don't yeah. sue us. Don't, yeah. Oh Don't God, do us. not sue us for anything. No, I, no. okay. Anywho, we already like mixed the milk in the half and half and the cream in these with the mixer because you just don't want to see us struggling and yelling at bowls of potatoes for five minutes. Yeah. So let's try it. Do you have any predictions? Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. You might notice we have a jug of milk yes. and a thing of cream. What many people might not know, half and half is literally just one part milk, one part cream. It's We're, half milk, half cream. Yeah. Half and half. half. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you guys think is gonna, gonna win? I'm running well, for half. Running. Should we, I'm actually rooting for should half. Should we I'm start with a half. constant, yeah, what we've been sure. doing the yeah, whole time? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, potato gods, you have blessed us this day. Nom, 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 nom. Why did I think I didn't like mashed potatoes before this episode? Mashed potatoes know. rule, man. Yeah, That's a good tater. Where are you what a good, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good tater. I'm eating mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, half and half. The happy medium. Instant difference, though. Mm -hmm. This happened. This happened in like the mac and cheese. This happened yeah. in the scrambled eggs, which turns out that humans enjoy eating fat. It's yeah. a yeah. good thing. Dude, fat is flavor. Mm, no, it's not. But what is better, the happy medium? You don't like it? I love it. It's mm, a problem. Full, <laughs> full fat versus happy. <laughs> full, Sorry, full. Trevor. They were talking over you. Say trying. what you want to say. Go ahead, Trevor. No, it's okay. I have nothing to say. Let's eat the potatoes. <laughs> 
Sorry. I had a oh, soliloquy sorry, prepared sure. for the heavy green. Let's see if we have finally gone too far to the final frontier, towing the line of madness and monstrosity. Mm. I have my opinions. I have my opinions. I have a very strong opinion that I believe is correct, but I want to hear y'all first. Who wants to say their opinions first? Well, should we say them first or should we just vote? What if we just put our hands over the bulls? Yeah, hands over the bulls on three. One, two. <laughs> these don't want a heavy three. These jumping all the way to the wow. other end. I don't know. I think we go majority <laughs> rules on this. To me, yeah. this Dang is it. clearly. There's something about the mouthfeel that you're left with with the heavy cream. Those are a very luscious consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, it's like too thick and it leaves a film yeah. on, on your totally. mouth at the end, you know? Mm -hmm. It also takes That's away true. from the potatoes. You actually mm -hmm. don't yeah. taste the potatoes yes. as much. You taste it's pure like dairy fat. Yeah, yeah, pure dairy fat. And I think the milk is like, it's still a good potato, but I think this this happy medium here of half and yeah, half is definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely the way to go. But hey, hold on. Wait. No, 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 guys, no, I'm no. serious. Hold on, hold on. No. no, I need to do this to one of them. Actually, this is an addendum. Go ahead. This is an extra. This is a bonus. Here, I'll Half and half. No, I want to do it to milk. Because guys, this is what oh I do God. to my mashed potatoes at home. This is a, I wrote an article about this, that you, you, you do it and you add mashed potatoes to the mayonnaise. Insane. Try it. I'm telling you, try it. Ew. You're going to like it. Nobody's no, 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 try, try it. it dude. Guys, you try the mayonnaise it. potatoes. This is how I, I do it at home. At it. It's a secret no. ingredient. Because we didn't do anything like adding sour cream. And I know all the other comments. Oh, yeah, the smell is already getting you. Try it. Try it. I'm dead serious. I'm calling the Idaho Potato Commission I don't commission have enough spoons for that. Executed. Someone try it. Fine. Eat the mayonnaise potatoes. <laughs> They're good. Do you like them? It tastes oh. like potato salad. <laughs> Myth muncher. We have officially munched all of the myths that mashed potatoes have to offer. And we figured out scientifically via hardcore hot nasty badass science, call us Bill Nye's. How to make the best mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. And all of our scientific results have yielded Yukon Gold Potatoes, chopped whilst boiling, mixa, and then with half and half instead of milk or cream. We did the both. Trevor, what did you guess? My guesses are Yukon Gold, chopped while boiling, hand mixer, and milk. This is for all my Idaho homies out there. I love you guys. I got three out of four. You missed milk. <laughs> you missed milk. Sometimes miss you miss milk. milk. We all miss milk. <laughs> miss milk. Nicole, what did you get? I guess Yukon Gold, Chopped, Ricer, and 50-50. I got three out of four. I missed the Ricer one. Honestly, that could have won. It was a judgment call. We'll review the game footage later. Uh, v, what did you get? Yukon, Chopped, Potato Masher, Cream. And this commercial has been approved by Tony Patata. I got two. Shoot, that's still pretty good, I think. I'm <laughs> dedicated to the cream. <laughs> Shout out the cream lady. Is that a Mr. Crookneck squash head? No, that's Mr. Potato <laughs> Head. <laughs> What did you just say? You uh, got her. Um, no, <laughs> that's Mr. Said? Potato's cousin, Tony. 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 Tony Potato. Josh, what did you get? Yukon Gold, whole ricer, half and half, sponsor us, Idaho Potato Commission. I did a little smooch. I got two. I, I thought Hole was going to win, and I thought Ricer was going to win, but it didn't. And I'm, I'm so proud of my effort. V and I continue to come in last place in the show, and I'm that's fine with that. Cool. Uh, but that's great, because now here's the thing. The essence of the show, <laughs> I like to call it utility. We're out here in Mythical Kitchen. We're trying to enrich your lives so you can enrich others. And now you can enrich the lives of those around you via the wonders of mashed potatoes that are, are honestly probably about as good. Get the stuff in the box, you know, the microwave stuff. It's pretty good. They, you know, I mean, you keep making the potatoes, but that's, the, uh, cooking, the thing about cooking is that it's your hands feeding another person. Don't, don't, don't put your hands directly in their mouth. I've found that people don't enjoy that. And what I'm really trying to say is thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. We're at Mythical Kitchen. We make like, it's like this, but 18 times shorter-ish. So if, if you are watching this video and you thought, boy, I wish this was about, um, 5.4% um, of what the full video here is, then you should follow us on TikTok um, and, and Instagram. We don't have a Twitter. Uh, <laughs> you can follow all of us, though. So that's at Chef Vizy. That's at C-H-E-F-V-E-E-Z-Y. You can follow Nicole Anaity, but it's still her maiden name. That's at N-H-E-N-D-I-Z-A-D-E-H. You can follow at Trevor Everts. That's at T-R-E-V-O-R-E-V-A-R-T-S. Uh, and then I am at Rhett MC. That's at R H E T T M C. See y'all next time. Hey, you! Cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.